you to join us to shed more light on what's happening. We have France 24's chief foreign editor, Robert Parsons. Rob, this group wasn't the government's main opposition, if you like, and yet now they're making a push to get rid of uh, what was the, the temporary seat of the government. Well, no, not just not opposition. There, there was a, an ally, an active ally of the, of the Hadi government uh, and had been fighting with Hadi's troops along with the the United Arab Emirates and, and Saudi Arabia against the Houthis in the north. This essentially was a, a, an alliance of convenience because the, the, the thing to, to remember about with the Southern Transitional Council, which is based in the south, is that it has never accepted the idea of a united Yemen. Uh, so they were ready to fight against the Houthis when it was a case of pushing the Houthis out of Aden. Uh, when they were there a couple of years, two or three years back. But once that was achieved, and the Houthis have been pushed back into the north now, uh, where they're still offering very stubborn, re stubborn resistance, but they're in the north rather than the south, the interests of the Southern Transitional Council in keeping that alliance going began to shrink. Because long term, they do not see... The they do not welcome the idea of a united Yemen. They want to revive the idea of a separate southern state. Remember, up, up until uh, 20 or so years ago, the People's Democratic Republic of Yemen existed as a separate state. They would like to see something along those lines uh, revived, not the Marxist, not in the Marxist form that existed in the past, but a separate state. That essentially is what it, what it's all about. Uh, the the straw that broke the camel, camel's back, it seems, uh, was a strike by uh, an Islamist group linked to the Hadi government on a parade ground where the Southern Transitional Council troops uh, were showing themselves off. That provoked this attack on, on Hadi's forces. But the background to it is that the long-term interests of Hadi's government and the Southern Transitional Council are, are quite different. Oh, interesting. And, and what, where does this leave, then, this anti-Houthi coalition of, of parties? Well, the cracks in, in the anti-Houthi uh, coalition have been showing for some time. Uh, the United Ar Arab Emirates have been pulling back some of their, their troops from the fighting. And remember, that the, the UAE troops have been absolutely crucial. Uh, for the fight against the Houthis. They're the best troops. And they've been providing training as well as been actively involved in the fighting around the port city of Hodeida, for instance. If you take the, the uh, UAE troops out of the equation, it becomes much more difficult uh, for the coalition forces to, to defeat the Houthis. Uh, the Saudi Arabia is, of course, heavily involved as well, but it doesn't have many ground troops involved. It provides airstrikes uh, against the Houthis primarily. So. You know, the, the, I, th I think you know if the if the the UAE really does start to with, withdraw, and at the moment it is supporting, remember the Southern Transitional Council, because it has doubts itself about the role of Saudi Arabia uh, in in backing Islamist groups in the southern part uh, uh, of Yemen, believing that this is encouraging Al Qaeda uh, in Yemen as well. If that happens, then the fissures that already exist will start to widen. Uh, does this mean that there could be an end to the war? Probably not. Uh, the Houthis may feel encouraged uh, to become more intransigent, press for more territorial gain, gains. So it doesn't necessarily mean that the war is coming to an end. It may complicate it even more. But I think it'll be interesting to see what Saudi Arabia does about this, because they're already having a problem selling this conflict and their, their strategy in it to the United States, and particularly in Congress. If the coalition starts to fracture, it's going to be much harder for them politically to keep the United States on board. OK, so that would be the major game changer then to look out for. Rob Parsons, thanks so much for helping clarify that situation, give us a, a real feeling of what's going on in Yemen.